Hello everybody, I'm joining you guys from Tony's Town Square Restaurant. You can't see it, the sign is all blown out and hopefully I'll have some B-roll here. Uh, Tony's Town Square Restaurant is located right in the middle of Main Street USA in Disney's Magic Kingdom. Now I'm excited to try out Tony's, kind of, because it has a bad reputation. Uh, it has a reputation of being like a bad food spot. Like the food just isn't that great. And so I wanna test it out myself and see, is it really that bad? Now the menu at Tony's changed uh, last year. So I haven't, I, honestly, I really haven't had anything at Tony's before. I, uh, the last time that I was at Tony's was actually during one of the parades during Not So Scary. So it, was, it wasn't even the real Tony's. So I've never actually tried this restaurant out. Something interesting is that you can actually access Tony's from just within the theater area. So you don't have to go through the specific Tony's door. Uh, that area is accessible from any of the doors on the theater. After entering the theater area, you head over to a little check-in booth uh, that's just in the middle. And then after you check in, you enter the restaurant through a door in the back. Now, if you don't know the story of Tony's, Tony's restaurant is where Lady and the Tramp had their first kiss. So that's, it's all Italian themed because of Lady and the Tramp. So we have that to look forward to. And I hear that there's like paw prints of the dogs out here. So I'm gonna go searching. Okay, I'm looking at the ground and I don't see any of these dog prints. This is just a thing that I've heard. Now though, okay, I'm honestly seriously searching. Um, if I had to guess, I would guess, <gasps> oh. Okay, there they are. Oh, there they are. Oh, that is that is too adorable. Look at that. Little doggy prints. Tramp is definitely the top paws. That's definitely Tramp. And that is Lady. I was thinking that they might be like, like a lot of little paw prints leading to a table in the back. And so I was going around the back to see if I could find them there. I didn't realize it was gonna look like this. I've only heard about it. I've never seen this actually. So cute. There are the bathrooms. That's the door to actually enter into the restaurant. I didn't realize they do this thing where they like scream at the top of their lungs when it's like a party's, <laughs> they're like, attention, attention. Some, sometimes it's more intense than others, but I did not expect it. Nevada family! Okay, so I'm, uh, I'm set in the corner, which I'm actually kind of happy about that I get to talk to y'all in the corner of the restaurant instead of the big middle of it. Um, so far, it looks kind of nice in here. I really like the vibe. There is a really adorable Lady in the Tramp fountain in the middle. Uh, there's sort of a space that leads out to the outdoor patio, uh, which is adorable, has lots of windows, um, and then like a checkerboard pattern on the floor. I kind of I kind of like the vibe. Okay, here is a look at the menu. Little Lady in the Tramp on the top. So you got your appetizers. I heard that the garlic bread is very popular, and my server also suggested the garlic bread. Uh, the fried mozzarella also looks good, if I'm wanting some calories. Next is the main course, and suggested by the server was the spicy uh, Italian sausage. I think I'm gonna order the, well I know I'm gonna order the spaghetti and meatballs. Then you have your desserts and your beverages. And there's also a cocktail menu. So Magic Kingdom is famous for not having alcoholic drinks available. So if you want an alcoholic drink, you have to really be at a sit down restaurant. So it's good that that is the menu there. And there's the, uh, the back, Tony. Okay, I ordered Tony's garlic bread for the table. It comes with a cheese sauce. So this is the cheese sauce. My server let me know that I could either dunk it or pour it on top. And I think pouring it on top is the only option. Okay, you get the cheese bread tower, you gotta pour the cheese. Okay, I'm not sure what just happened, but a server came over here and said, you're taking a video, let me do something to make it better. What is going on here? Okay. Is the red carpet treatment? Oh, the red carpet treatment, okay, okay. You're making oh my god. It looks gorgeous now. It's Instagram ready. Oh my gosh. 
That looks so good. Oh. You can't order off this menu. I can't this order off this picture. menu? This is for the picture. Oh my god. <laughs> it's looking much better now. Way better. Okay. First bite. Okay, that was very, very messy, but also very, very, very tasty. Oh my gosh, my food just arrived. It looks really, really good. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna devour this. So I'm eating with a friend and they got chicken parmesan. That looks so good. Those noodles look really, really good. Okay, I'm gonna have a bite of my spaghetti and meatballs. I don't think there's a way to make this graceful. So we're just gonna try. Mm. My first impression is that the meatball is like really um, dry. And that the, the, the whole spaghetti dish is a little dry. That's my first impression. Let me get through a few more bites though. Okay, I'm getting to try a little bit of the chicken parmesan that just fell on my phone. Let's try to get one more noodle here. Okay, here we go. That chicken doesn't taste cooked correctly. Yeah. It's weird. I think I bet that it's safe to eat. It just tastes. It just has. It's very weird. Yeah. We both kind of agree that there's like a weird part of this chicken. <laughs> what is super duper cute is that there is a uh, stained glass window back here, and in the window is actually a lady in the tramp silhouette. You see that? That is. That is adorable. Okay, here is my thoughts and opinions on um, my food. So I actually ended up really enjoying the spaghetti. It did get uh, more <laughs> and more saucy um, as the dish kind of at the bottom. Uh, so I ended up really, really enjoying my spaghetti. Still a little freaked out by the um, chicken situation. Okay, we also just got the tiramisu cannolis. They look pretty nice. They don't look. They kind of remind me a little bit of like. Um, a spring roll or a egg roll. We're gonna try. I'm gonna try to record a TikTok at the exact same moment. So here we go. The cannoli. It's so messy. I really like it. It's a nice dessert. Um, I like the, the you know the tiramisu coffee you know espresso. Um, all really good, and I like the crunch of the cannoli. That's very very nice. So all in all, I'd say that I like it. Okay, so here are my thoughts and opinions on Tony's. Um, I think that it has, a, I think it has a reputation for a reason, honestly. Um, the meals, the, the meal that I had was pretty good. Um, it was not incredible, it was not amazing, it was not like spectacular. The people and the servers were really nice. The cast members were awesome. I had some really great experiences with the cast members, so I really don't feel like I can fault the ones that I interfaced with at all. Um, I did end up enjoying my meal. I do not think it was worth the price at all. Uh, for two people, we got uh, fountain drinks, two entrees, an appetizer, and a dessert. That ended up being with tax and tip around $90. Uh, it was like 89 something with a 20% tip. So it was not a cheap meal, about you know $45 per person. Um, <laughs> Happily Ever After is happening behind me. So sorry for the sounds going on <laughs> behind me. Um, the whole thing with the chicken. The chicken tasted weird. Um, and I didn't, we didn't end up saying anything to the servers for a few, I didn't end up saying anything to the servers for a few reasons. Um, one, because I couldn't, I really couldn't tell if it was like undercooked or what. Like I couldn't tell what was going on with that chicken. It just, it just had a very weird consistency. Um, second, just saying anything at all is just really awkward. I'm just not the type of person that does that. I mean, my social anxiety just it will not work in that situation. Third, is it was weird that I was filming and I just did not want it to seem like I was trying to cause drama or trying to like film like I don't know it just felt weird and like the person the cast member who was serving us was uh, was like in training just the whole situation just made me so uncomfortable and I wish that the chicken was just good and I really honestly I can't we bo both of us kind of felt like it was weird but we didn't know it. I don't think it was undercooked 
I just think it was just a weird piece of chicken. So anyway, that's the end of that story. Um, so, would I go back to Tony's? For an entree, no. For like a dinner situation, no, I would not. What I would use Tony's for is a fantastic hangout spot. Choose that appetizer, the, the cheese, um, the garlic bread, insane. That was so good. Um, it's a place you can get cocktails. I mean, and also, it, this, it always seems like it has reservations <laughs> available. Maybe recording my review during Happily Ever After was a bad idea, but we're sticking with it because I uh, want to get a magic band before that lets out uh, because it's, it's going to be insane here. Um, anyway, so I would use Tony's as a place to hang out, get a drink, a bottle of wine would be like so fun. That would be awesome. So. That's what I would suggest you use Tony's for. I don't think I'd be back to have an entree, an actual dinner, anytime soon. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one, hopefully without a like an actual army behind me, just setting off explosives.